Welcome to Shikoku, one of Japan's four main islands. This time we're in the city of Matsuyama where I'm going to be taking a bath. But it's not just a bath here at historic Dogo Onsen. Dogo Onsen is Japan's most famous public bathhouse with natural hot springs. So where is Dogo Onsen in Matsuyama? On Shikoku Island, Matsuyama is on the coast of Ehime Prefecture, a scenic ferry ride from Hiroshima or a 70 minute flight from Tokyo. Matsuyama Castle is up on the hill, right in the city center. Just a short tram ride away from here is Dogo Onsen Station. And I'm right down there in front of the Dogo Onsen Honkan. There are loads of attractions here in Matsuyama, but for me, it's all about this, the Dogo experience. So grab your towel, your yukata, and your geita, and let's go. The best time to go is in the morning. But before we take a dip in the bath, let's look around at the exterior of this historic and mystical building. The angles, the shadows, the colors. Every corner has an interesting story to tell. The back has a fire-protected copper roof, which has turned green. Mostly wood with sliding paper and glass doors. From day to night, Dogo Onsen's exterior is more vibrant when it's lit up. At night, it can even get a little spooky. Never fear, bath time is here. Late night bath time at Dogo Onsen. This is the changing room for men. I got special permission to film here after hours. The lockers are free. The key is a band that goes around your wrist. In fact, the key is all you'll be wearing. Here, there are amenities like in most public baths. You can bring your own soap and shampoo or buy it for a very reasonable price. We start in the historical Tama no Yu, or Bath of the Spirits on the second floor. It's smaller and requires a pricier ticket, meaning it's less crowded and more private. It was made for the imperial family members and their attendants, but now it's for you. Let's swing over to the ladies' Kami no Yu bath. It's quite spacious and luxurious, the water spouting from the center like a fountain. The tiled art tells the story of Dogo Onsen's history. And this is the men's general Kami no Yu bath where I'll be taking my dip tonight. So grab a bucket and stool, rinse off, and then get in. This is the bath. This is Kami no Yu. This is the first bath that people come to. It's open to the general public without any extra charge. Now, the water here is quite deep, deeper than most onsen. If I sit, it could probably go up to eye level. Now, this water coming out is natural. It's coming from the cracks in the earth. It's been doing that for, they say, over 3,000 years. You can see on the top a white heron, the white bird. And the myth goes that the white heron came here with a broken leg every day until the waters naturally healed the heron's leg and it flew away. The white heron, also known as the Great Egret, is an important symbol of the onsen, highlighting the water's healing properties. It's even on the very top of the building. I usually stay in the onsen for about 15 minutes. It was a really special experience to have the whole bath to myself. 
If you want a similar experience, try going first thing in the morning. Dogo Onsen opens at 6 a.m. to the beat of a taiko drum in the tower. The first one in gets the bath to themselves. Just don't expect to be alone for long. It's usually very crowded by 7 a.m. Morning and evenings are the busiest times. This is the general ticket for entrance to the bath only. You can rent a yukata and have a snack for an extra charge, which is well worth it for first timers. Ah, great, so just finished taking a bath and I'm here on the second floor lounge area. It's one big tatami room. There's lots of places where people can sit. And uh, with the course that I purchased, I have a green tea and sembe set. And after soaking in that hot bath, which is about between 42, 43 degrees Celsius, being up here on the second floor is great because you have a cool breeze coming through the windows, through the openings here. It feels fantastic. I love this because uh, this is a whole experience. It's not just entering the bath, taking a bath. This is taking a bath, coming up here and relaxing and completely putting the outside world in another place and absorbing Japan, absorbing Dogo Onsen and the history. There's a lot of history too. You can't stay the night in this building, but there are loads of yokan nearby for that. Visitors come in their hotel yukatas and a basket with their soap and shampoo. The snack ticket is perfect for those on day trips who want to get a taste of the experience. I went upstairs to the third floor to learn more about the yonsen from the manager who's waiting for me in a private tatami room. I had loads of questions to ask Shibata-san, starting with this building. So, <笑>はい。この建物自体はですね、<笑> にあうと思う。そうですね。本館面白いのはやっぱり本館あの正面から見るのとまあやっぱり四方その他から見るのと全然あの建物が建てられた年度がちょっと違ってましてですね。でそれぞれ年が違うんで少しずつその趣が違う
はいタトゥーは大丈夫です。But why here? At nearly every Sento or Onsen resort I visited, bathers with tattoos were prohibited. Tattoos are part of the underworld culture, and many Japanese citizens fear the sight of them, so there's a general ban to everyone who's inked. But how could Japan's oldest and most traditional bath also be the most welcoming? まあ、道後温泉本館ですね、まあ、あのお客様もさまざまいらっしゃいましてもちろんあの外国のお客様もいらっしゃいますし、まあ、タトゥーされてる方も多数あの来ていただいてますので、まあ、それはもうこちらとしてはですね、まあ、あのおもてなしをさせていただくという意味で、まあ、タトゥーでお断りっていうのは切にですね皆さんあの平等に楽しんでいただけるような配慮をさせていただいてます。You can wear your yukata around the Dogo Onsen streets, where you'll find lots to eat. Ehime Prefecture is famous for oranges and mikans, and at this shop, you can get freshly squeezed juice or mikan beer. It really hits the spot on those hottest of days. And then there's this bochan dango. Instead of mochi, it's made from azuki bean paste. It's named after Soseki Natsume's novel, Bochan. I love the cafe right across from Dogo Onsen where you can get an amazing view of the building, as well as a cup of matcha and Matsuyama's famous tart and a side stick of Bochan Dango. If you're looking for something harder than tea, try the Dogo Brewery restaurant across from there. It serves locally made craft beers. Food like this plate of beer infused fried fish paste, which goes great with a brew. This is my third time to Dogo Onsen, and it certainly won't be my last. There are many reasons to visit Japan, but if you want to put relaxation in the center surrounded by history, food, and fun, there are few places better than Dogo Onsen. See you there.